Hi everyone, Greg here. Well, today is an absolutely stunning day. Just take a look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. There we go. And uh, well, I thought, you know what? I haven't been for a bike ride for a while, so I thought I'd whip out the old bikes and decide which one I was gonna take. Now, I've had this one for about 25 years. Yeah, this one here is one that I've picked up sort of recently. It's very nice to ride. Bit girly though, but probably not as girly as this one here. The Slick Chick. <laughs> this one though is like the Rolls Royce of all bikes. Hmm, which one will I choose? I brought the Schwinn. The Slick Chick. Yep. I am a slick chick and here's the beast today, looks pretty good, slow tide, not much of a breeze and the ocean's pretty flat. down to early heads. Might as well. There's a couple of scrub turkeys searching for food. Look like juveniles because they haven't got the colorings of a, an adult. It's still pretty big. Look at the size of a turkey. Probably hence the name Scrub Turkey. Although I'm sure genetically along the way they are related. Well I wouldn't know because I'm not a scientist. to the path where everyone walks. Well there you go, I made it to Burley Heads. It's not really that far a ride. But it's a nice place to come. There's a bit of a headland here. It's a bit windy. But there's usually a good swell, probably on a high tide. Good place to come and surf if you're ever on the Goldie. Now it is about 10 kilometres from surface paradise, so I wouldn't want to be walking it. But if you're fit, you could probably do a nice return jog to there. It'd be 20 kilometres though. You'd want to be fit. But it's a nice walk. And there's paths right along the way. Oh man, the smell of barbecues along here. Oh, it smells so good.
Is a beer o'clock yet? Close enough. Just want to thank Peter Giles again, mate, this guy. I just showed him my fridge before, just how full it was of beer. And he goes, he sends me some money to go and buy some more. <laughs> thanks, thanks, mate. I appreciate it. So not only do I have, look, not only do I have like all this down there and a couple more here. But there's some wine. Not much though. But, I've also got this up here. That's half full. I got this one. That's got quite a few in it. This is full of coffee, so that's not beer at all. But then I've got this one here, which has also got, like, beers in it as well. <sighs> Might as well start drinking them, huh? Boy, I'm gonna just be... Mate, you're turning me into an alcoholic. Luckily, I don't drink that much. I might only have a couple, but I've got quite a bit, uh, quite a few months worth. Well, not months, maybe days. <laughs> so I'm gonna crack one of these open, and well, 3:30. It's a bit early to go to the jetty. Too sunny, you see. Unless I put my big hat on. Well, it's still a bit sunny. Bloody hell! Didn't bring my hat either. God, Greg. How many times do I have to tell myself, bring your effing hat? Effing F. Oh well. I'll just sit here in the shade. Look at the mosquito riddle boat. Anyway, I've got this two bird sunset beer here. It's pretty relevant considering the sun's going down. So let's see if this beer has got anything to do with the sunset. Where's it from? Ah, oh, damn, I forgot my glasses. Ah, oh, Jesus. 4.6% though. Goodness me. Rich toffee malt with a pine and grapefruit hops. Oh, God. Sounds like a fruit salad. Okay. Oh, no. That's what happens with age. Wish I knew what it was from. Where is it from? Victoria. Oh, I can't even read that. Fuck, I'm blind. Oh well, let's give it a go. It smells like a rose garden. Very sweet smelling. The taste. It's got sort of that wine-ish sort of taste. Uh, you know, that really rose garden smelling wine. It's, um, oh, I wouldn't call it a sunset beer. I'd call it more like a, a 4am, uh, and that's the last one that's left in the fridge. Uh, that's what this sort of tastes like. I mean, it's not bad. Maybe it's just because I just had another beer before and I didn't rinse my mouth out. Oh yeah. Tastes like a red wine. Be nice with a steak. Mm, steak. Man, that reflection off the water is killing me. That's why I'm hiding behind this tree. had to come back and grab another beer. I was looking at the forecast and have a look at this. This is winter on the Gold Coast. 11 to 20. Four. Holy cow. It's going to be cold. That's because there's no clouds, you see, and the heat escapes. So if it's cold, it means it's just sunny. Look at this sunshine and cold during the night, which is good because you get to cuddle. But yeah, check that out. Oh my god, it's freezing down here. I've just come down here and it, 
I'm standing in the breeze and it just feels, oh man, I'm cold. But the funny thing is, it's coming from the north and the cold there usually comes from the south. Which is kind of strange. Oh, man, but it's cold. I'm going back up. You know, Australia is playing tonight. It's the World Cup time. One of my favourite times of the year. And it's World Cup time. I love soccer, football. Now, Australia are playing... Who are we playing? We're in the World Cup anyway. We're playing... Um, who is it again? Oh, France! Oh, we don't stand a chance against those guys. Unless they're all, you know... The Aussies use their forceful power and just succumb them into pathetic failures. Let's hope so, because I'd love to see Australia get up there. Love watching footy and I love uh, anything Australian, because I'm Australian. Oh, mate, look at this fridge. Holy schmoly. I should do a one of those things. Some people do videos of, like, What's in their fridge, mate? Oh, just don't show them the bottom drawer. Oh. oh, I love that sound. This is the video I made today. It's pretty nice. Mmm. Now, what was I gonna do? Uh, that's right, watch the footy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.